There's a story in the Bible about the adulterous woman caught in the very act of adultery. And men brought this woman to Jesus and threw her down to his feet and said, she ought to be stoned. She's been caught in the act of adultery. Well, Jesus wrote some stuff in the on the ground and and then stood up and looked at him and said, He who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Of course, them old boys knew that they were guilty of their own sin and knew Jesus knew it. And so they turned around and walked away. Well, then Jesus turns to the woman and he says, Who condemns you? She says, Nobody. And he says, Neither do I condemn you. Think about this a minute. Jesus didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Saved from what? Saved from their sins, saved from their adultery, saved from, from all the wickedness, breaking the law of God. And so he says, I don't condemn you. But then he says, go and sin no more. So he identified the fact that adulterous living, sexual immorality is a sin. And he says, stop doing it. Go and sin no more. So him telling her not to sin anymore is not condemning its direction. It's not condoning its correction. So he told her to stop and go and sin no more. And what Jesus Christ does for people is he teaches them how to live a life that's worth living, a life where God can be uh, pleased with them. And so my goal in life is to live a life that God is pleased with. Your goal in life should be the same. So come on, y'all. Let's follow Jesus.